I'm Charlie Pape from Tightlines Fly Fishing Company and today I'm going to be tying a adult little black stonefly. Uh, little black stoneflies are, other than midge, really the first prolific hatch we see in the upper midwest here. Um, you'll find this stonefly uh, all the way from the southern part of the state, southwest Wisconsin, to central sand country kind of streams and also up in the northern part of the state in the northwest. Um, this little stonefly really varies quite a bit in size. Um, I've seen them as small as 20s, 22s, and up to you know maybe a size 16, thereabouts. But um, if you're ever fortunate enough to encounter this hatch when the females are coming back to the water, it can be some of the best dry fly fishing of the first part of the season. Um, so it's good to be prepared with uh, a decent adult stone pattern. Um, and the one I'm gonna be tying today is kind of stim stimulator shaped thereabouts um, and it's just a real real quick easy stone so the materials for this fly um, I'm gonna be tying a tail just with some black goose by it just a split by it tail the abdomen and head are just gonna be black dry fly dubbing the wing is going to be a gray Swiss straw And I'm tying this on a Dairiki 270 um, or a TMC 200R in a size 18. Um, I would have this fly, you know, in, in 16s and 18s. It's pretty, pretty much the common size. So, and the first step in tying this fly is the tail. And the easiest way to make a nice split tail is to just make a little ball of dubbing right on the back of the hook. That'll keep the tail split nicely. It doesn't need to be too much. Once you get your little ball of dubbing on the back of the hook, you just cut off two goose biots. I'm going to tie that in for a little tail, one on each side of the shank. Once you get those tails nice and even, you can trim those tags off. I'm going to make an abdomen of just black dry fly dubbing. The adult stones themselves are pretty, pretty dainty stone flies, so you can keep the abdomen pretty thin. I'm going to stop about three quarters of the way up the shank and tie in just a little sliver of Swiss straw, and that's going to be the wing. Next I'm going to tie in a little black hackle and I'm just going to hackle over the head on this fly. It'll give just enough hackle to make this fly buoyant. This is a particularly good pattern if the fish are eating females that have just laid the eggs and they're kind of spent on the water. I'm just going to finish this head with a little dubbing and go over that with the heckle.
once you get that hackle secured, you can whip finish the fly. Once you get the fly whip finish, the last step is to trim the wing. And if you find some of these adults crawling around on the snow, you'll notice that their, their wings are shorter than their tail. The tails stick out considerably from the wing. So you can make it so the wing just kind of barely goes over the, the abdomen. So what I'll usually do is just cut it square. and then kind of round the edges. And that's it. Just a quick, easy, little black stone dry. And a great thing about this fly is there's not a ton of hackle. It's a super easy, quick tie and there's just enough hackle up front that if the fish are being really aggressive and eating the females when they're laying eggs that you can grease this fly up and skate it nicely. Mm -hmm.